It's Wind Waker Wednesday, and last week on the stream, we made our way to the Wind Temple to find out who the new sage of the temple was destined to be after speaking to the spirit of the former sage. Oh my. We found out it's none other than our little Kokron friend, Makar, so we head back to the Great Deku Tree and find him practicing... Underneath the waterfalls. Like Medley before him in the Earth Temple, Makar embraces his role as one of the protectors of the land. And the two of us set sail to empower the Master Sword to full inside the Wind Temple. Makar may be short in stature, but his skills are unmatched when it comes to solving the various puzzles within the Wind Temple. We battle our way deeper into the temple, and many different enemies come out to try to stop us from gaining the power that we seek. Now I can go save Makar. Eventually we find the hook shot, which is going to be of great aid for the rest of this journey. After navigating the final few traps that lay in our way, we make our room to the temple boss, the giant worm, Mulgara. Mulgara and his minions prove to be a formidable opponent, but in the end, we are victorious. That can't be the whole fight. And the full power of the Master Sword is within our grasp. That was just too easy. With the Master Sword at full power, we say our goodbyes to Makar and make our way back outside where our fishy little friend is telling the King of Red Lions Ganon has disappeared from the Forsaken Fortress. We hurry to reassemble the eight pieces of the Triforce of Courage. All eight form the Triforce of Courage. All right. And tonight, we must make our way beneath the waves back to the ancient kingdom of Hyrule to find out what's going on with Ganon and Princess Zelda. Be setting sail around 8.30. Come hang out. <laughs> 